my guest party, my guest on the show today is Alice Riches, uh, who started the Street Place scheme where she lives in Beachwood Road. Uh, for those of you that don't already know, Street Play involves local residents uh, closing off at the street for a few hours so that children have a chance to play in the street safely. Uh, she started it in her town street, Beachwood Road, and the idea caught on and there are now street play schemes all over the city. And so, when did you actually start the scheme, Alice? Well, I first had the idea when my oldest child of a still a toddler, and uh, so that's about six years ago now, but it took at least two years of campaigning before we were actually able to make it happen. So the scheme's been up and running for three years now. Uh, we'd uh, love to be able to close our road for longer mm -hmm. uh, for the whole weekend uh, from Saturday morning until Sunday evening. Uh, for example, at the moment it's uh, just once a week, but when I was started it was only once a month, but uh, we are working on it. So what actually happens when a Beachwood Road is closed? Uh, we have volunteer wardens, uh, mostly parents, uh, but some elderly residents too who block off our road at either end, the council have provided the special signs, uh, but there is always a volunteer um, there to explain uh, what's happening to any motorist. Generally, uh, they are fine about it. Uh, we've only had uh, to get the police involved once or twice. Now, I should explain that the road isn't completely closed to cars, but only residents' cars are allowed. If people really need to get in or out of Beachwood, uh, Beachwood Road, it's not a problem as long as they drive at under 20 km per hour. But most people just decide not to use their cars during this time or they park in another street. The wardens are only here to stop through traffic. So can anyone apply to get involved in street play? Absolutely. Uh, we want to incl include all kinds in the city, especially uh, those who live on uh, busy roads. It's here that demand is the greatest. Obviously, uh, there isn't such demand in uh, wealthier areas where the children have access to park or large gardens or in the suburbs where there are usually more places for children to play outside. I'd recommend that anyone listening uh, who likes the idea should just give it a, give it a go. Uh, we've been surprised by the positive reaction of residents all over the city and that's not just parents and there are always a few who complain but uh, they are a tiny minority. On the whole, everyone is very supportive and say uh, they are very happy to see children out on the street, even if it does get quite noisy. Even if it does get quite noisy. Uh, there have been uh, so many benefits of street play for the kids. Parents really like the fact that the kids are getting fresh air instead of sitting uh, 
staring at the computer screen even if they are not doing anything particularly energetic. And of course it's uh, great that the kids can play uh, with their friends outside without being supervised by their parents. But for me the biggest advantage is that the kids develop um, confidence in themselves to be outside without the parents. The other really fantastic thing is that the children get to know the adults in the street. It's like having a big extended family. It certainly does have a big of uh, uh, it have a lot of benefits. I want to move on now and ask you about a uh, related pro project in King Street. Right. Well, uh, this was an experiment I was involved in where a local residents decide to try and reduce the traffic along King Street uh, which is the busiest main road in our area by persuading people not to use their cars for, the, for one day. Uh, we thought about uh, making people pay more for parking, but we decided that that would be really unpopular. So instead of uh, just to stop the people from parking on King Street, but left the other car parks open. It was surprising how much of a difference all this made. As we predicted, air quality was significantly better, but what I hadn't expected was how much quieter it would be, even with the buses still running. Of course, everyone said, they felt safer, but uh, we were actually amazed that sales in the shops went up considerably uh, that day. Uh, we thought there would be a few people out shopping, not more. That's really interesting. So the fact, so the fact that Part 2, questions 11 to 20, uh, questions 11 to 16, uh, choose the correct letter A, B, O, C. Uh, street play scheme. When uh, did the street play schemes first to take place? Three years ago. How often is Beach Boots Road closed into traffic now? Once a week. Who is responsible for closing the road? local wardens. Residents who want to use their cars must drive very slowly. Alice says that street place schemes are most needed in areas with heavy traffic. What has been the reaction of residents who are not parents? They like seeing children play in the street. Question 17 and 18. Choose two letters A to E. Which two benefits for children does Alice think are the most important? Increased sense of independence opportunity to be part of a community. Questions 19 and 20 choose two letters A to E. Which two results of the King Street experiment surprised Alice? More shoppers. Less noise pollution.